Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Meehan. And I'm student Dr. Robert Lemmy. And this is our summary report of near-term results for patients undergoing HIFU for prostate cancer at East Valley Urology Center in Mesa, Arizona. We are a single center community practice. Between 2018 and 2020, 40 consecutive patients underwent prostate HIFU ablation using the Sonoblate device. We utilized a urethral sparing technique when able. The average age of patients was 72, prostate volume averaged 36 cc's, and the pretreatment PSA averaged 7.3. An MRI was performed on 85% of men with an average PIRATE score of 4. Pretreatment biopsies averaged 14 cores with 4.75 positive cores. 79% of men had intermediate risk or greater disease. The average treatment time was 119 minutes, and catheterization time was 6 days. 18% of patients received pretreatment hormones, and 20% underwent a pre-HIFU photoselective vaporization of the prostate. This was done to shrink the prostate for adequate treatment and was needed in about half our patients. All men evidenced a drop of PSA to an average of 1.3, and 88% of men maintained a lower PSA at their 12-month follow-up. No de novo urinary incontinence or stricture disease was reported and the majority of men preserved erectile function at their pretreatment levels. Primary complications included acute urinary retention in 10% of men and urinary tract infections in 5% of men. There was only one late grade 3 complication stemming from a prior PVP procedure, and that patient is doing fine. Out of these 40 patients, we had four failures following high food treatment demonstrated in a follow-up biopsy. One patient had a new out of field occurrence. Three patients had an in field recurrence. Two of these patients are scheduled for repeat high food procedures. One patient is on active surveillance, and one patient is referred for radiation therapy. For the men that underwent prostate high food ablation for prostate cancer, the procedure was safe and provided excellent potency and continence preservation, along with good short term disease control, albeit with limited duration follow up. No serious complications were noted. Urethral sparing techniques appear promising in minimizing urinary side effects.